Today in the Daily Dose, Bonfire of the Vanities. During the 13th through 15th centuries in Europe, at the dawn of the Renaissance, Dominican monks hosted a string of what historians have named Bonfires of the Vanities, intended to rid parishioners of sinful yet coveted objects that the Catholic Church labeled as heretical distractions from a Christian's obligation to focus on salvation through Christ. Yet the spark behind the largest bonfire began in 1490 Florence, Italy, when the city's ad hoc religious leader, Girolamo Savonarolo, first began preaching about the coming apocalypse, which he believed would occur in 1500 unless Florentines rejected Satan's manipulating distractions, such as certain works of contemporary art books, cosmetics, dresses, and more. Chief among Savonarolo's complaints were religious artworks incorporating images of wealthy, albeit egotistical patrons who would commission the work in question, melding their mortal likenesses into depictions of key figures and events within the Old and New Testaments. Calling it modern and corrupt, Savonarola also took particular issue with female biblical figures in many paintings of the day. And in the months leading up to his Bonfire of the Vanities, in early 1497, even Sandro Botticelli added a good number of his paintings to the growing amassment of bonfire accelerants. While no one knows what possibly famous works of art Botticelli added to the bonfire, fortunately for art lovers the world over, his most famous works such as Birth of Venus, Primavera, and Venus de' Medici thankfully survived. At the same time, the powerful Medici family had lost the respect of average Florentines, leading mobs inflamed by Savonarola's preaching to burn down the Medici's bank after the family had fled the city in fear for their lives. Dressed in white gowns sporting red crosses and garlands, an enormous bonfire was erected in the Piazza del Signoria under a mounted image of Satan, leading to the mother of all bonfires on February 7, 1497, which in turn led to Savonarola's fall from grace when more sensible Florentines saw the event as a threat to their heritage and culture. His downfall was made complete by his repeated criticisms of the papacy which ultimately led to his execution by the Catholic Church, making the Bonfire of the Vanities a stunning low point during the high-water years of the Italian Renaissance. And there you have it, Bonfire of the Vanities, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.